Good morning. We have bought a caravan, a 1986 20 foot windsheeter Windsor. Um, it's in fairly good condition um, in terms of wear and tear. It's actually great. This is probably more ideal for people who were wanting to just jazz it up a little bit, like paint it, maybe resell and make a few thousand dollars um, and then move on to the next. However, I am struggling to find, or I was struggling to find, 20 foot caravans because um, we weren't looking for too big, but a 20 foot caravan that was going to fit the layout that we had in mind. So we found one. Uh, luckily it was in our town and we bought it. I'm going to be sharing costs along the way. So we paid $8,000 for this caravan unregistered um, but we also paid $26.20 for a um, what's it called to be able to, to tow it around um, without being registered we didn't think it was a need to have it registered um, because we're going to be pulling everything out of it so the weights will be different like it all will have to go through a whole thing after we're done so I just thought I'd give you a quick rundown of the caravan before we start pulling it apart which is today. Today's day one. Um, it is the 2nd of March 2020. We are really struggling to also find a lot of YouTube channels where they have documented most of this process and in more of a detail. So I'm hoping that we will be able to do that. Not daily because um, I don't know that we'll be able to work on it daily. It's probably going to be work on as we can. We are planning to take off again around Australia but also work so like last time we traveled but we traveled very quickly um we didn't experience australia we traveled australia and i guess that's the difference is we really want to make sure that we enjoy it quick update we've pulled all of the cupboards off or unscrewed them um we'll be keeping those we're taking the mattresses the bed that on a load now and Keep going, but getting there. You can see that there's a little bit of water damage there. The windows aren't too bad. Just grabbing a few more things to go. Nearing the end of day one, and we've pulled out a lot of a lot of the inside of the van. Eli's in here helping. We've pulled this, pulled the oven out. Ready? Go, Ready mate. As hard as you can. Again. Again. That's it. One more. Ready? Again. Keep going. <laughs> Getting there, mate. A lot of it's come Hi, out baby, already. Huh? Hi, baby, tricky one, daddy. Yes. Hey, John, mate. I'm actually getting these out of the wall. Oh. There's one more here. Oh, very good, because we'll have to unscrew those. So far today, on day one, we've pulled out lounge. Um, we've pulled out, well Peter pulled that one out, the top cupboard. Kitchen's out, um, bunks are out except for this, because what do you need to get? Tech screw head. Tech screw head, so might be a tomorrow job. And we pulled the bed out, we pulled all of that out, which is good. The oven's out, yeah the bed's out. Just getting as much cleared as possible. You have to cut those, I suppose. That. Well. Yeah. Oh, that just come out. Yeah, right. Of course. Close enough. Oh, it's alive! We've only got 30 more minutes of doing stuff, and then that's it for today. Just start getting dinner and bedtime sorted. It's not a single bed mattress. 1800, so that's right there, the end of the fridge. Yeah, right. 
Yeah, so that wouldn't be here, would it? Well, the top one is the smallest, and that's Miller's size. 1400. And what's the middle? That's the bottom. 16. Yeah, right. Yeah, no, it's too short for it. We'll have to go there. Yeah, so or, or what's that there? What's so from... that? That pretty much there. Yeah. Six hundred. Exactly that. With the bumps. I'm stepping on all the things. You've got you've got no shoes on. Dad's very dangerous. Yeah. Still thinking about what to do with layout. Well, this to here. What's that? To there as 1600 what's the width of a queen bed I just I just don't know about having a bed there and when you first walk in and how like walking straight into a bed this van's not big enough to have the queen bed yeah that would be like a large double I think it's better off just yeah, we'll keep it the way it was. We'll push it into a one of the sides or right at the back. So I don't even know what, how wide they are. If it's, if it comes to there, they've got 20, 2100 to be safe. Probably 2200. But that's... Yeah. Good job, honey. It's not very productive to oh! hold a camera and dump stuff in the in the trailer at the same time, but we're trying to film as much as we can. Have you got the range hood? I got the hammer. <laughs> you got the hammer? Big spider. Something more. Yeah. All on the tip. How is it all just stuck in the wall from the outside? I don't understand how that works. No. Nah, so there's there's like these bits that are stapled from the outside, but then there's bits that are screwed as well. I don't like understand that red how stuff, that... that. red stuff. Yeah. That stuff is like so that's screwed in from this side. Righto. And then the rest I don't understand how this, what was it, here? Stapled to the ply, but then, I don't know. That they built this, like the aluminium on the outside, or the steel, or whatever this goes on wrong. And like this? <laughs> yeah. It's all from the top down. Yeah. So, not how we'll be building. Yeah, Ayla. Ayla. Ew. Ew. Hi, Huntsman spider, it's the type of spider, Huntsman. Huntsman! Millie, do you want to bash with the hammer? No. You don't want to get a saucer? Okay. Job, buddy. Should I smash it You know, remove the wall or nah? Well, see that one there snaps in half up the top. If you look over this side, to the right. 
going to be able to come out in one piece anyway. out yet. Because oh. Dad needs to get something else. Yeah. I think what we might do, Max, is you and Eli go inside, have showers. Oh. By the time showers. you go and have a shower. By the time you've had, put them down, please. By the time you've had showers, Dad and I will have packed up what we needed to, hey, and then we'll be on to day two tomorrow. Okay. Stay here. Dad and I, all we're doing is going to clean up this mess now. We're not breaking any more walls down. All right. Mm -hmm. You two go inside and shower. I'm no, you need to go and have a shower. Thanks. Yep, just a quick shower. If you're not wet, I won't believe you. Elijah, you need to go and have a shower. <laughs> I think that screws into the door outside. Go. There you go, mate. Alright, All right, go on, go have a shower. That's the first day done and dusted. It's got to start on that middle wall, but um, we got heaps done today. Um, we weren't super productive, but <laughs> we ended up getting heaps done. Um, I think it helps when Peter takes pre workout. <laughs> We're just looking up. This door is actually super, super hard. <sighs> but we will get a new door. I'll say. All right. See you tomorrow. Hey, I have blue hair. I think if we go back in videos, um, I actually have red hair and then orange hair and then like 50-50 hair and blue hair. Oh my goodness. So. Today's day two. Is that good? It's up and that is good enough. Today's day two and we pulled out the fridge. We're pulling out the fridge. We pulled out the fridge space and pulling out the back of the caravan, which is the old bed, like unit headboard. Now, we've pulled all that out um, and we're up to ripping the walls off. Now we're keeping the framing. Um, and anything that is water damaged or needs replacing, we're going to do that. But not until after we've pulled all of the walls off and we can assess the damage. Um, if we didn't pull this whole thing apart, we wouldn't have found some of the water damage. There's not a lot, but some of it was not even at the front that you could see. Um, some of it was behind in the wood behind and then obviously it had the laminate over the top So we're very thankful. We've pulled everything apart um, some things that have surprised me is uh, I thought that the cavity uh, Where the framing was between the wall um, On the inside and the actual aluminium or whatever it is van on the outside I thought that was going to probably be a bit thicker and now I'm thinking Does insulation even come that? Thin. are we going to be losing inside space because we want to insulate we're going to have to look up the different types of insulation I've already started having a little Google around and there's a few different types that you can get um, for inside vans uh, but you know we're just gonna to have to shop around and see what what's gonna work best for us uh, Peter's in there at the moment removing one half of the wall. We're trying to get the back half of the wall, which is the, actually like <laughs> the starboard side, the right hand side when you're in it, um, and see what else we can get done today. The time is, we didn't start until after lunch. The time is 2.12 and we're gonna have to get as much on the back of the trailer and pick up the boys from school all roughly about the same time. Yeah, so that's what's happening today and you just follow along and I hope you enjoy watching. And i um, been trying not to swear, but sometimes those things fly at your face really fast. But anyway, that's where we're at.
on me. Oh, on me. That's disgusting. <laughs> So babe, you've already got seven years of bad luck. Are we going for 14? Gloves, babe. Make it easy if you have gloves on. One more spin strip. get the, the ply, the wood and the line at the same time. Okay, so we'll do that last. That'll be the last of the demolition. Of the demolition. Can you just push that under the tire, please? For my own reasons. Okay, so we'll just... That wall's nearly done. And then we haven't really started with these other walls that haven't really been trying. What's the time? So I mentioned we gotta go and get the boys. We got 15 minutes. Discovered some, actually there was lots of nests in the back behind it. Waste transfer station. Might come back in this afternoon when we've got the boys. They will enjoy pulling the rest of the walls out, I think. I think if we can pull the rest of the walls out, I'll be so happy. Satisfied. It's got in there, back. That's a good Weber one. It's because it's empty. Oh my, put it back. 
No wonder when we stood up the end of it, us two chunkies. Exactly why. There's no way that this <laughs> We stood up the back there together and the whole thing was just like horse and cart. Actually like those Jaycos <laughs> behind the wagons, the station wagons that yeah. lift them. <laughs> Right. Let's go tie that down and then we gotta go get the boys. I know what you're doing, buddy. I'm sewing a skeleton. In or out? In. What do you want to put it in for? Yeah, I can't, I can't to unscrew. We've got to take it out. Don't put screws in. That's it, mate. Nice one. That wall's down. Bit of Anything to unscrew, mate. So, have you figured out that it's easier to remove it if you remove that first? Yeah, I think so. Otherwise, it all just gets stuck and splits apart. You have to get it off in bits, try and keep it all together. Thank you. You're welcome. Swap ya. And a smidge. Three and a quarter. And not a roof yet. That'll, I reckon that'll just be like, we'll just go. Like pulling a scab. If we get this all off. These bits. Just everything, yeah. Get all these little things off. First, and it should just come down like. Do, 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 do. I hope so. This, these might be different, or it might just pull straight. Ants. Black ones. Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> been trying to we haven't done the roof we've left the roof we've had a couple of beers so I guess that's finished time <laughs> uh, we're trying to figure out the configuration of what's going to work best for us there is someone who's had a similar van do a similar conversion there's only so many places you can put bunks and everything but I 
I don't know what is going to be the best way. We've, we want a queen bed, so we've marked out where a queen bed would uh, come to, whether we do it, you know, this way, um, or whether we do it this way. Chin here. Or that be the lounge to, to the bed, I suppose. If the bed goes to there and we have it tucked away, I suppose that's... There's Nana, pussycat. I guess that would be kitchen from there. All the way to here, which is an awesome amount of space. Or we put the kitchen here behind me. But we can't have all of the weight, all the weight on one side. So maybe we put the bed in this corner and then mm, kitchen on that side. And then. Mm. There you go. Just gonna chuck all this crap into the trailer in the garage and call it a day. I think dad's coming around. I'm gonna show him the van. It's gonna be a lot of rain tomorrow, so we're probably not gonna get much done. I think this might be a bit of a wrap for the demolition stage, even though we haven't finished the roof. Because I don't know what the next step is after that. The next step after that is probably we need to figure out the layout, where we want our lights, electrics, so that we can get those ordered and wired and put in, or ready to put in. And that'll be a whole other video on its own. Nala! Hey Nals! What do you think? Come on! <laughs> Oh, Nala, what do you think? <laughs> we got to shut this all up because we're getting, we're expecting a lot of rain. All right, guys, with that, I'll see you later. Bye.